Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oops. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I... I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village, and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off. You realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Ма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> what did you want? I want you to teach people to listen to me. You want him to get us the money. Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotkar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Well, they are an oddly mixed couple. <laughs> but hey, whatever, you know, floats their boat. The car's pink now. It's interesting. Uh, but the lady actually seemed pretty nice. So it seems like they're both from another country. And they come here and they were a nice, happy couple. And she stayed on her nice part. And then he changed and became like a gangster motherfucker. And that's kind of messed up. But I know this is just a video game. Don't get me wrong. I know that, you know... These characters were created to act like this in order to make a good video game, but still. In real life, people are like that, too, and it's pretty messed up. I hate when people treat other people like that, especially women. They treat other women like that, and I'm like, ah, get the fuck out of here. Never treat a woman like that. Alright. So now I'm a little confused on what we're doing here, but it seems like... Faust and his gang are, are uh, running low on cash and whatnot. Oh, I missed the jump. Oh, well. Seems like they're running low on cash and they're getting in a lot of trouble with the FBI and stuff. And it seems like I'm going to be the cleanup man. That's interesting. Alright. Oh, and you said a truck. You know, I was thinking something completely different. This will be interesting. You guys ever hear the game called Big Mother Truckers? I actually had that game. Mr. Faustin, I have 
the truck, driving over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Guantanamo. Sure. Guantanamo Bay. What the fuck? Alright, so apparently I gotta be very easy with this too. And not fuck around. Oh, this truck is slow, that shouldn't be hard. I say that now and watch I'm gonna end up dying or something. Do I have GPS talking here or something? Alright, here we go. Game on now. Ding dong. Yeah, that is GPS. Oh, okay. I have a green light. That's good. All right. I'm looking in the back of the truck. The green light blinking. If it turns red, I guess I'm fuck. Oh, the quicker quicker flashes indicate that it's getting more explosive. We're good. Oh, better keep an eye on the road. Alright, so we gotta take this one caution. <gasps> I wanna jump off this bridge! Into the water. I do! I do! <laughs> and I better just go ahead and pay the toll. Never heard of a $5 toll though. Jesus. I'm gonna take this motherfucker so easily. Yep. Move your asses. Yeah, I'm just going to pay the toll. There we go. There we go. The kiosk! I'm trying to push that guy out of the way. What are you doing, taxi? I mean, I know I'm driving in the middle of the road, but still. Jesus! Anybody behind me? How do I look behind me? Roman, see, you call me at the worst fucking times, bro. There's nobody behind me? There we go. Alright. Fucking people. Alright, let's take this easy. Do I have to do that crazy ass U turn? I hope not. It's annoying. Why are you gonna go and make a U turn like that? Yep, I gotta fucking make this U-turn. Alright, swing it wide. Swing it wide. Turn right. Oh, right here. I can't see shit. There we go. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Move it, move it. Alright. Oh, I gotta be in the truck to... That's gay. Well, okay, there you go. Yep, don't mind me. Kaboom! You know, that doesn't happen in real life. Uh, in an explosion, you don't fly like that. I don't know. Just wanted to point that out. It looks really cool in movies and stuff, but... It's just not true. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> oh, yep, don't get the fuck out. Oh, so there's this dude, right? Alright. I got I gotta tell you guys this. Uh so there was oh, you might get a phone call. There's these two guys, right? And they robbed a uh you think uh I believe it was a bank. All right, let's see what he says. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Oh, Has anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri. Yeah, you're you driving around a bomb. Nothing. This is how you treat me. All right, so uh, on my way home, I want to tell this to you guys real quick. So these guys robbed. I, I don't think it was a bank. I can't remember what it was, but. uh. The only way they could get in is to ram the gate. 
So they drove straight through and just knocked the shit out of everything, right? And drove right in the store. Well, their license plate fell off their car. And then they drove away. So then... God damn fucking cops. So then they're like, okay, we got to go back and get the license plate. They got away scot-free with everything. They got all the money. And then instead uh, of, you know, just staying away, the dude goes back, returns to the scene of the crime. Oh, you're not going to get me? No. The dude returns back to the scene of the crime, and he gets arrested. Because <laughs> they knew it was him. They're like, oh, cool. <laughs> So they arrest him. That's so funny. Like, he returns to the scene of crime to grab his license plate. Ends up getting caught. The cops were just chilling there waiting on him. <laughs> it's like, are you stupid or something? Like, Jesus, hell. <laughs> Jesus, man. But I thought that was funny. A little funny story to tell you guys. Epic story time. Here we go. Come on. I want to do a cool maneuver. Oh, there's a police station. That's nifty. Excuse me, boxes. Alright, so we're gonna get home. Alright, what do you want, Roman? Nico, it's Roman. Are you talking to Brucey? That's Roy's monkey? He is a good friend of mine. I'll be a good friend of yours too if you let him. Anyway, he's got some work and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's executive auto on Mohanad in East Hall. If Mallory calls you, we are pulling together. See you later. Alright, well, that's the holy crap next mission that we gotta do. Awesome. Uh, that's the next mission that we got to do. We got uh, Dimitri and we need to talk. Yeah, so we got Dimitri and we got whatever the hell that guy's name is. I don't know. Uh, so we got two more missions for whenever we come back for the next episode, guys. But we're going to go home right now and save for now until we start this back up again. This is a long drive. We're almost there. But I hope you guys have been enjoying these episodes. Oh, copy ended. Hope you guys have been enjoying these episodes of these, uh, GTA 4. As I've been saying, GTA 5 is supposed to be coming out soon. And it's not a matter of, uh, of hopefully I finish playing. Because I could probably finish this game within, like, tomorrow if I really wanted to. But the thing is, is that I would rather upload the playthrough before... GTA 5 comes out, and that's what I want. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hold on. Hold on. Can't do it. Bam. No. That's not what I want. All right. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been some GTA 4. I've been Snowball. Peace. How could it ever be just us two? We just met and I just fucked you. Oh shit, got my copyright on YouTube. What will I ever do? Fuck you, YouTube. It's just what I do because I'm going to spit about real life shit. YouTube money? Suck my dick. I piss money every day. Fuck a lot of bitches because I ain't gay. This is the song that makes women cry. Jelly of the fact love is blind because I came in their eyes. Whoops, big surprise. Now I'll arise for these epic guys. Now that they're blind, they cannot see. They scream out, I just fucked King John Lee. But Legion's here back again and once again he lost his pink and spit out rhymes to every race. Watch this now to be a disgrace because dick is big and wasted time. Spit that shit now. Come on, son.